Hey everyone, my name is Avi, and today I'm going to be showing you how the Hall of Fame works in Escape from Tarkov patch 14.0. Probably not going to have it on level 3 like this, so it's going to look a little bit different depending on if you have it on level 1 or 2 before you actually look at this video and want to start using it and getting the maximum bonus out of it. But it doesn't matter, it all functions the same, it's just a matter of how many things you can put inside it. The Hall of Fame has three sections. You have the dog tag section, the small trophies, and the large trophies. For the small and large trophies, you can put any collectible items you want to display, like bitcoins, eggs, GP coins, gold chains, rollers, gold skulls, and things like that inside of the small trophies. And in the large trophies, you can put things like lines, clocks, vases, and things like that that maybe take up a lot of space inside of your stash or junk boxes and you want to free some of it up or you just want to make your hideout look cool. The cool thing about these small and large trophies inside of the Hall of Fame is that you can right click them and click display on profile. And once you do that, if you view your profile by clicking on yourself in the bottom left, you can actually see which things you favorited at the bottom. This also shows for anyone that you kill in a raid. So if they click on the triangle after they die, they can view your profile and they'll see your favorited items, just like the favorite weapons in the weapon rack. So that's pretty cool. But now onto the actual real bonuses that it gives. So you can see the Hall of Fame is supposed to give percentage bonuses to the leveling of combat skills. If you don't know which skills are combat skills, you can just go over to your stash, click skills at the top, change it to combat, and you're going to see all of the skills that are in the combat category. This includes things like weapon mastery and so on. So for example, this could be pretty useful when trying to level your sniper skill for some of these quests. So just keep that in mind. It's not a huge bonus at the moment but later on in the wipe it could start stacking so depending on when you do those quests it might actually be useful to have this built. So how do we actually get the highest percentage bonus from the Hall of Fame? So basically the dog tags that you want to put in are of the opposite faction so if you're bear you want to put USEC dog tags in only. If you're USEC you want to put bear dog tags in only. Also the dog tag that you're putting in has to have you as the killer, so you need to actually perform those skills. You can't just loot a high level dog tag off of someone and put it inside of your hall of fame. You have to kill the person. And you also want it to be of the highest level you can possibly get. So it needs to be of the opposite faction. You need to be the killer and it needs to be high level. Those are the three things you should be watching out for when selecting dog tags that you're going to put inside of the hall of fame. If you don't know how to see whether a dog tag is from a bear or a USEC, you can either look at its shape, like the physical shape of the dog tag, because bear dog tags are significantly smaller than the USEC ones, right? The USEC ones are a lot bigger. Or if you just click on them, it's going to show on the left side whether it's a bear or a USEC. So remember, the opposite faction is what you want to be putting into the Hall of Fame. The cool thing is, if you have a dog tag case, you can just put all of your dog tags in there. And if you sort and the game's not bugged in any way and it actually sorts as it should, it should sort bear dog tags first and then all of the USEC dog tags. And also it should sort from the lowest level to the highest level. So you should have lowest to highest bear dog tags and after that lowest to highest USEC dog tags. So depending on what faction you are, choose the opposite faction and just go from the end and select the highest level ones. Once you put them in, you're going to see that the percentage of the combat skill leveling bonus has increased. And that's basically it. It's a really nice way to show off some of the items you love in the game and kind of customize your profile a bit because that's basically the only way to do it except for the weapon rack at this point. But it's still pretty cool. And for the large trophies, you can actually put some stuff in there. So it might save you some space if you're on a standard account. So yeah, it looks cool in the hideout. It gives you know, not a big advantage to like any leveling bonus. It's quite small at the moment, but I think it's just neat. And now you know how it works. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you disliked it, you can leave a dislike. If you want to see more videos like this or other content from this wipe, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.